This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming up next. Set in the Sonoran Desert and surrounded by the majestic McDowell Mountains, we're at the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Hello again and welcome Rich Loder alongside Frank Navalo, set to bring you all the action for today's event. Frank, when you think about the TPC Scottsdale, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. Now this second shot from 170 yards. This one has a chance to be close. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Really starting to shine, moves to 10 under for the tournament. Great scoring opportunity here at the par 5 15th, but Frank, I'm wondering, as a player, is your mind beginning to think about what's ahead at that par 3 16th hole? Oh, they are. This, this is really the uh, finishing stretch at TPC uh, Scottsdale where you get all these swing holes. 15 is a swing hole. 16, 17, and 18, where so many changes in the score can actually happen. But this one here is all about finding the fairway. A good drive down here will be well rewarded because you'll have a chance to reach this par 5 and 2. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Well, it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Frank, this ball's in the rough. You like to hinge just a little bit quicker on the takeaway when the ball is down like this? No, when it's down, you've just got to make sure that you wind up almost like you're hitting a tee shot. Uh, this is not one to be dallied with. Uh, you've got to hit it powerfully. And you really have to focus on that club getting through the grass, past the ball, and out the other side. green in regulation. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. Frank, the one moment that sort of made the 16th hole what it is today would have to be Tiger's ace in 1997 here at the TPC Scottsdale when it was raining plastic cups. It was also his reaction, too, and that ushered in the, the Tiger Woods era that we became associated with, which is the fist pumping, the rorty spectators. I mean, he was one of the few players that bridged the gap between spectator and golf course. And, uh, and it still goes on till today. And, and I think Rory McIlroy probably is the only other player that starts to broach that type of inside and outside 
atmosphere with golf. Still to this day, it's the loudest single moment that I can ever remember hearing on a golf course. off the mark. Missed the green here. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. And he's made it onto the green now. A tester from four feet. Nothing wrong with that part, Pop. Frank, 16 was fun. 17 is always exciting here at TPC Scottsdale. You've got to be careful because uh, that water that sort of goes around the left side of the green, if that ball's coming in with a little bit of hook, it's just going to keep going left. There's the one bunker you really have to focus on. That's the one in the middle of the fairway. 280 will carry that. Chances are the ball can run onto the green. It takes a brave man really to try and fly this ball all the way there. It's not really needed because there's always another 10 or 15 yards of run. Factor that in. Now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. That is some good work right there. Birdie and one shot closer to the lead. Well, again, the fairways are lined with those huge galleries coming off 16 and 17. Now the finishing hole here at TPC Scottsdale. And Frank, what can we expect? Well, this is a goodie. It'll play slightly as a dog leg left. Now, many a year, a player would try and carry the ball all the way over that water down the left side. But those new bunkers down there, it stopped the J.B. Holmes attack on this par four. You're really going to have to play a little right of those now. And there's a couple of bunkers up on the hill to stop you doing that. So this is really a much tougher tee shot. 440 40 yards of par four just got a little bit more difficult. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frank, this is a good position to be in for a player, making birdies, making some moves. Yeah, starting to get the momentum too for the finish.
NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Really good playoff to see at least 300 yards and in the fairway. This tournament has such a rich history. When you look at the list of multiple tournament winners here at Bay Hill, names like Ernie Els, Tom Kite, Lauren Roberts pop up. They've all won it twice. And then there's one guy who obviously stands above everyone. Yeah, Tiger Woods winning here eight times. Uh, obviously, the golf course is perfect for him, but it's the stature of the event. The Arnold Palmer Invitation has gone on for so long. It's one of the events that you look forward to. You know what the golf course is like, but also you know what's required to play well there. And getting ready for the putt. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Frank, that's a par. And onward we go. Let's go down to the 11th. Has not been a stellar performance to this point, but Frank, not too bad. No, when you consider four-round events, Rich, you're going to have a period where it's a, there's a little lull. As long as you can minimize the damage over the course of four days, it turns out all right. Oh, if this is up, it's good. Right where they were aiming, in the fairway. Frank, the second shot here at number 11, another good-looking shot, not unlike the third hole with water along the left. What's the right way to play this? Obviously, you'd like to walk off 11 with three, but uh, four here never really hurts the scorecard. Uh, this is one hole you sort of play with an orange-like feeling. A little right of the flag, that's absolutely fine. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for birdie. No snack, though. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Teeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par 5, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers, lots of contours and undulations around this green. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Got the uh, measurement out there, Rich. Looks like 290 yards. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot.
And as he strides up here to the 12th green, having hit it in regulation, he knows now that his work is by no means done. A long putt coming up. Always two components to the long lag putt, the speed, number one, and then the read. And missed out on that second part. Getting set now over the putt. Frank, you hate to miss it from that distance. Uh, more than a setback there. Par attempt here. Still even par for the day. Par four 13th. Frank, you've played it on a number of occasions. How do you attack this hole? Really one of the shortest on the golf course, but uh, this is a fool's paradise here. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good swing, good shot yet again. That's well played. Now a good look at birdie. That sneaky distance. That is going to hurt. So they'll tap in. Did the job right there. Another challenging par three here at Bay Hill. It's the 14th, 216 yards, Frank. It plays uphill, prevailing breeze too, into your face, so normally much longer than its yardage. What do you try up next? This one just requires a little bit of focus.
you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Could use this one. This is for par. Still playing even for the day after the par. Frank, deep in the round at the 15th, you need to maybe make something happen. How difficult is that with such a huge dog like here? Once again, make sure you know the distance to carry the bunker or run out. You've got to play to your strength. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Oh, that's fine. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. Frank, I think that's going to the bunker. Looks like it. Oh my goodness, that could have been really bad. Can you imagine if that kicks towards the bunker? And he's made the green. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Struggling a bit with the flat stick and a drop shot here at the 15th hole. Just a tap in to finish the hole. A drops, now at one over par. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. This is not hitting in the right direction. No, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Oh, look out, Frank. Where's this one headed? Uh, this is definitely rough, Rich, off the tee. Ends up in the first cut, and he'll have a pretty good look at the whole location from here. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. I mean, this skill, and that, that was sublime. Just good hands, coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance, and now in great position. Shouldn't be a problem here.
Frank, we haven't seen a whole lot of that, but no doubt it feels good. Back to the second hole here at Bay Hill, Frank, long par three. And that green slopes so much from right to left, so you can actually use the contours of the green here. This one has a chance to be close. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. There's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Let's keep the round going, those par putts. Frank, now to the third hole here at Bay Hill. If you have a case of the snap hooks, <laughs> you're in some serious trouble here. You're going to run out of golf balls here as well, but uh, a good tee shot's going to leave you something like 150, 160 yards into a very narrow green. <laughs> Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. Good strike, good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Should be safely on deck. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah. Frank, this is always such a difficult spot for a golfer. You just hit one out of bounds, you're trying to regroup. Uh, he's going to need to more than regroup now. Can add up quickly, Frank. This already his fourth shot. Yeah, time to knuckle down. Really wants to hit one of his better shots right now. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. Rich Lerner with Frank Nabilo back at the fourth hole here at Bay Hill. This is the first par five on the golf course. 561 yards. You thinking birdie here, Frank? No, you certainly are. Perhaps even three. This is almost ramrod straight. Little hazard down the right side. But a good one, you can certainly get home for two. Contact, good result. Well, this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. And now the second shot here at this par five. Third shot, looking for a good one. Oh, 
on the green. And a chance for Bird. Now this for Birdie came away with par in the previous round. That's a nice roll, and with that birdie, now two under par for the tournament. That concludes the second round here at this amazing golf course. And Frank, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, I certainly am as well. The players have gotten off to uh, a very good start, and they must have a good feel for the course right now and know what they have to do in order to win. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, site of one of the PGA Tour's premier stops, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Always attracting a great field, and through the years, it has been the scene of just some championship play from one guy in particular. Tiger Woods has won there an incredible eight times. Frank, at the fourth, we pulled the hammer out. Here, maybe it's a scalpel? Well, it just depends. A little trailing breeze. A drive is not always a bad play here. 367 yards to the front. There's a little kick forward. So, win behind your back, almost worth a go. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Well, he'll have to get up and down from the bunker to save his par. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. His second shot. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Not close, but not bad either. That one's about 25 feet away. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. And getting ready for the putt. Good effort. Good par putt. On to the par five, sixth hole. This is one of the signature holes here at Bay Hill, Frank. What does it take to stay out of trouble on this hole? Well, I always thought uh, horseshoes were lucky. The sixth hole shaped like a horseshoe was anything other than that. Uh, you fear a little left and big problems. That is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300-yard mark. Second shot. This 
this one doesn't look good. There's water over there. Slight miss, and they'll have to deal with some of the heavy grass. Frank, what's the best way to get at the golf ball when it's sitting down just a bit in the rough? You have to accept the fact first and foremost that you're not going to get clean contact. So you have to decide whether the ball's going to come out short or it's going to fly. Because very rarely will it come out the normal distance of what you hit on the fairway. So if it's a little thin and wispy, chances are it might fly. If it's nestled down, you're going to have to take at least another club. And it makes the green in regulation. So a tester from four feet. Oh, I thought he had that. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Continuing to putt with confidence. Now at the par 3 7, Frank is just under 200 yards. But it's still quite daunting. A very narrow entry on that left side. So you've got to hit the ball flush off the tee. Really guarantee a carry of that over that right bunker. So it's still a, a daunting tee shot. Headed for the bunker? And we'd like to have that one back in the bunker. Still a chance to get it up and down. Great professionals, Frank, they don't fear the greenside bunker shot, do they? No, because you can be as aggressive or as conservative as you want. You actually have far more options. And you don't have to hit the ball first. So, Frank, out of the bunker and back into play. Yeah, the late Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf is always the next one. Well, by getting the ball back in play, he just made that a little easier. Solid play, heart of the green. Not what he had in mind when he stepped to the tee, but it would be just one drop shot. This for Bogey. Frank, this has been an absolute mess today and all week long. You said it best. Let's move on to the eighth, and Frank, what's ahead here? Big par four, just over 450 yards. Um, ideally, you want to get it down by that bunker where it's nice and flat, because that second shot, you, you know what's coming up. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Frank, this is a pretty good par for the eighth. What about the approach shot? Such a intimidating uh, second shot here at eight. I think it's the best one on the golf course, Rich. You can see very quickly why the goal is to hit your second shots nice and high and get them to land soft. This is what you have to do with your second at eight. Good swing, good shot yet again. Just a pure strike and a perfect result. He'll have a good look at birdie now. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Even par, currently. Workman like Cole, he walks away with a par. It's a consistent theme here at Bay Hill if you can carry it 300 yards. Bay Hill always favors the longer hitter. Yay! 
game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. He has put himself in an excellent position with a beautiful tee shot. And now a good look at the green. Frank, you want to make the turn in style? We're here at the ninth, the approach shot, and what are we looking at? Big green, one of the biggest on the golf course. Uh, this hole's changed a lot with equipment over the years, so long iron, even a mid iron for some people to a very uh, generous green. Just pitch it on the front third, and uh, you'll be having a birdie putt here at ninth. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Putt for par. He needs one. Good putt. Frank, always nice to get in a round here at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge, the house that Arnie built. Yeah, it's never easy. Water, so much in play here. Green's firm, fast, uh, great test. So for all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner for Frank Navalo. Until next time. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Looks like it's going to find the target. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. And with that birdie, moving into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Now at the 15th, big dog leg right here. What's the best way to go, Frank? Really down the left side. Uh, it's very tempting to try and hit it across that bunker, but not only do you have to carry the bunker, you've also got to carry those little shrubs down the right side. Frank, this one's going too far left, it looks like. Yeah, it was fine there for a little while, but if it keeps going left, it's doomed. 
not on the fairway here. This could be a tough shot coming up next. Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. It just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. In the greenside bunker, Frank, little bit of a problem. You know what's great about Bay Hill is that it's the house that Arnold Palmer built, the king. And if you do visit Bay Hill, there's actually a decent chance that at some point you'll bump into Arnold, either in the grill room for breakfast or out of the driving range. He still loves the game, always has. And there's also a good chance that Arnold will say hello to you, look you in the eye. He is the best there ever was when it comes to fan interaction. 11 feet away. In for par. We've seen guys through the years blow the tournament right on this hole. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy four, but a three brings seven into play. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. And from the fairway for his second shot here. Looking good, Frank. Uh, I think it's wet. So the golf ball ends up in that first cut. It's a little bit less than two inches. You can see the golf ball should be able to get at it, but may not be able to control the spin. We'll see. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Good solid stroke there, no sign of nerves on that. Frank, par 317 here at Bay Hill. How difficult is this hole? This one takes your best tee shot, Rich. Otherwise, you're just looking at four or five.
should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. On the green. And a chance for birdie. Birdie try again here today. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Always take that. Good par putt right there. You know, Tiger was born on the same day as LeBron James, December 30th. And, and he's had his share of slam dunks, especially on the 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Yeah, he's just a perfect fit for the golf course. Um, you'd think every now and again he fares left, but he doesn't fear left at Bay Hill. Uh, we, we've seen his best golf over the years, over the last 15 or so years. To win there eight times, nobody's come close to that. Ernie else, one of the great players in the world, has won it twice. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. Frank, this is the moment of truth in so many rounds here at Bay Hill, the second at 18. The best way to put it is it's the most rewarding second shot you'll get on Bay Hill relative to the rest of the people playing. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. thought he made that. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. This would give him the par. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Well, that'll wrap up our coverage of the final round. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. We'll see you next week.
This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabilo for EA Sports and Golf Channel on NBC. Pleased as always to be at the house that the King built, Arnold Palmer, the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida. The golf course that's produced many a great champion. Tiger Woods has won it a whopping eight times. Ernie Els has won it twice. This is a place that tests the best in the game. That is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that took the 300-yard mark. This looks good. Certainly is. Now the approach here at number one, Frank, what's he looking at? A nice high, soft landing uh, second shot would be ideal here. There's a little bit of a ridge in this green. Don't really want to be going long here. Those two bunkers, uh, never easy coming out of those and downhill. That was a solid strike and a good result. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Seems to like it. Handed for the fat part of the green. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. This can be a cruel game at times. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bald. Very bald. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. That's not how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. No, you'd, uh, you'd like to go back to that first tee right now and start again. And he's putting for par now. Even par early on. Drops it, and he's at even par. Here at the 231-yard par three second, Frank, pretty good hole. 
It certainly is, Rich. The carry on the right side's a little shorter, but if you're going to take it down the left side, you've got to fly that ball at least another 20 yards. Not terrible, but not his best. An outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Pretty good stroke right there. Just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. What a putt. Just missed, Frank. That's cruel. <laughs> Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Still even par for the day. So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Frank, now to the third hole here at Bay Hill. If you have a case of the snap hooks... <laughs> You're in some serious trouble here. You're going to run out of golf balls here as well, but a uh, good tee shot's going to leave you something like 150, 160 yards into a very narrow green. Oh, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Second shot here at the third. One of the narrowest greens at Bay Hill. Uh, water, as you can see on that left side, so for the faint of heart, you're going to miss, if anything, to that right side, and that's exactly where they put a little bunker. So be very straight on the second. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is a good-looking shot. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. They're out of the rough. Expect the ball to jump forward a little bit.
15 feet away. So close, just a tap in from there. Locked in on the read and the speed. And so just getting started, even par so far. Just a little tap in here. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. 561 yard, par 5 fort. Frank a chance to make four and maybe even an eagle three. Yeah, that green's just raised a little bit, so if you had a good drive in there and you're going with a slightly shorter club, big advantage. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300 yard club. Good poke right there. Nice. Looks good. Long and strike. That's how you do it. Playing his second shot here at the par five. That's an absolute beauty. And from the fairway for his second shot here. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Well, a bit unfortunate in the bunker, Frank. Well, it'll be interesting to see what his bunker plays like. Frank, tricky little third shot here at the par 5 fourth. Especially if you don't have a full number, uh, because there's just that little mound in the middle of the green. If you get on the wrong side of that, instantly you can be 30, 40 feet away. So. Check where the flag is. Is it front? Is it back? And then try and land it in that section. Making it look easy at this point. Another beautiful approach shot. All right, so green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Shouldn't be a problem here. So in the red figures at one under. And getting ready for the putt. One under on the deck. Frank, what's the play here off the tee? Is it driver, or do you play it safe with an iron? A, a lot of the times, that's predicated by the wind, Rich. If you've got a trailing breeze, driver is very much in play. Otherwise, just poke a little iron down the right side.
Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. Rich, these players aren't getting a reprieve with the win right now. Right from the start, the winds have been kicking pretty good. Yeah, but it's, at least it's presenting that challenge uh, for the players that they don't get every other day. And this will test the player. I mean, it's one thing to play with no wind in perfect conditions, but as we know, uh, golf is a game of variables. Yeah, and better strike will be rewarded today. Frank, what about this approach shot here at the fifth? One of the few holes where you get a short iron in your hand for that second shot, but that green slopes away at about a 45 degree angle to the right, which makes distance control paramount here at five. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. This from about 10 feet. Good score going, now at two under par. Settles in over the putt. Now at minus two for the day. Frank, what's the thinking here as you step to the tee at the signature hole, the long par five sixth hole? Well, the longer hitters can go at that big pine tree, then it's reachable in two. And if you're a little shorter, then you've got to start to sort of aim at the middle of those two bunkers. There's something about a well-hit shot. Great drive. Came right out of the middle of the bat. Frank, getting set for this approach shot, our featured golfer is a player, it's obvious, in full flight right now. It is. This is where, it doesn't matter what the sport is, and, and golf is a great example for it, though, where when you play your best, it's almost like you're just playing out of your subconscious. Everything happens, it just flows, and you don't really think about it. On the dance floor here at the 6th, but still a pretty hard putt coming up, about 30 feet away. out. This could be wet, Frank. It's heading towards the hazard. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus.
That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. Well, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. This is a 22-foot putt. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. And with that, he'll go to three under. Minus three now for the round. Breathing a sigh of relief. You've made it through the par five without getting wet. Now you're at this par three seven, Frank. You've got to guarantee a carry at least seven or eight yards onto the screen because that's where that bunker is on that right. It cuts in seven yards. Surely not. That's good stuff right there. Wonderful approach. And now a really good look at Birdie. This one's going left, Rich. He's not knocking down the flag stick here, but it looks as though it will find the green. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Yeah, here we go. Starting to roll now. Four under with that birdie. In for par. Getting ready to tee off now at the 8th, and Frank, this hole has a little bit of everything. Yeah, even though it's a pretty hole, Rich, it, it's a fair way you must hit because that second shot here is one of the toughest on the golf course. Good spot right there. Send a cut. This has been a great performance so far, but Frank, a long ways to go. Do you ever worry about complacency? Yeah, sometimes it just looks like it's too easy. At the moment, the putts are going in, the iron shots are going close enough. But uh, some things, you know, they don't happen by, by accident. He's got to still keep concentrating right now. Now playing the second here at the par four.
This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Not close, but not bad either. That one's about 25 feet away. Second shot. Pretty chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. How about that? Four under par. Knock that down for par, but remains at four under. It's a consistent theme here at Bay Hill, if you can carry it 300 yards. Bay Hill always favors the longer hitter. Excellent drive, Frank, right where you want to be. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. So where the hole is cut, just about 190 yards, Frank. safely on deck.
This one just requires a little bit of focus. Starting to really play well, minus five. So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Back here in Orlando, Florida at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Frank, we're getting set for the back nine. How do you get off to a good start? Well, it's one of the shorter par fours here, Rich. Dog leg right. Uh, good drive. Just a, a short on here. But this one has a chance to be really good. Got the uh, measurement out there, Rich. Looks like 290 yards. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Shouldn't be a problem here. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Settles in over the putt. So makes the putt, and now at minus six. Just a couple of feet. No problem at all. Good putt, and he stays at four under par. Now to the 11th with water left, bunkers on the right. Frank, what's the key here? Well, too often people just look at the scorecard and they go, well, it's over 400 yards, I have to hit driver. You don't have to hit driver at 11. Something in the fairway, just short of that second bunker. And it sits up six or a seven on Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Frank, the second shot here at number 11, another good-looking shot, not unlike the third hole with water along the left. What's the right way to play this? Obviously, you'd like to walk off 11 with three, but uh, four here never really hurts the scorecard. Uh, this is one hole you sort of play with an orange light feeling. A little right of the flag, that's absolutely fine. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. 
He is just uh, unbelievable. That that never deviated offline. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Oh, this one's going left, Frank. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that quick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. a gimme, but well within his range. Continuing to play well. Minus seven now after that putt. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Good solid work right there, and stays at four under. Teeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par five, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers, lots of contours and undulations around the screen. Well, oh, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. As he strides up here to the 12th green, having hit it in regulation, he knows now that his work is by no means done. A long putt coming up. Frank, the beauty of the game, the changing conditions. You've played it all over the world, and you don't play it inside a dome, do you? Yeah, anybody can play on a fine, still day, but what separates the uh, good from the great is actually days like today. That's when that little extra attention to detail, a better strike, a better swing, is certainly going to pay dividends. Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet.
Looks like he just misread that. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. At the par 4, 13th now. And Frank, what's the key here? Really avoid those three bunkers, Rich. You don't want to feel a bunker shot over water for your second shot. Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Par 4, 13. Frank, how do you hit this approach shot? Rich, it's the first par 4 at Bay Hill where the water is actually on the right of the green, um, and that has to be taken into consideration. Just a little errant shot, and then you're going to be wet. So a little left of the flag, that's where you want to be. This is a good-looking shot. That's well played. Oh, good look at birdie. Second shot. Good look at the green. like that one again. Oh, you hate to miss from that distance. And he's putting for birdie now. Starting to put something special together. Six under par. Locked in on the read and the speed. And he makes it for a bogey deal. Frank, now to the 14th of par three, and how difficult is this hole? Once again, very narrow entry into the green, so ideally you want to fly the ball a little higher than normal, make it soft, make it land a little softer. in the direction of the sand. It looks like it. Rub the shamrock. Got away with getting in the bunker there.
Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Just want to nestle this one down within a couple of feet. Not quite enough on that one, couple of feet short. Yeah, hopefully uh, he taps it in. Not his best, but um, hopefully it's just two putts. Second shot. Oh my goodness, how did he miss that? Getting set now over the putt. Oh, I thought he had that. Frank, amazing how this hole has gotten away. Yeah, he's not Robinson Crusoe. Happened to everybody that's played this game. Shouldn't be a problem here. Well, you can see it there. Feels very good about what he's doing. That's a nice par putt. Stays at six under. So not his best work. He'll walk away with a boat. Frank, the 15th kind of a fun golf hole if you can curve your ball. Well, that's a huge dogleg to the right, isn't it? Yeah, it's much easier if you're a right-hander if you cut it down here. If you don't cut it, then make sure you don't run out down that left side. Long and straight. That's how you do it. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Beautiful looking shot right here. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. Headed for the bunker? Well, he'll have to get up and down from the bunker to save his par. Second from an excellent lie.
appears to be tracking well. That is an excellent play right there. The approach giving him another good look. In the greenside bunker, Frank, little bit of a problem. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Continuing to play well. Minus seven now after that putt. This to avoid a huge number. This is for bogey. Now at five under for the round. Is this a good risk-reward par five? It's more about the second shot here. It, it's probably the most demanding second shot on the golf course. little bounce forward should be close to 300 290 oh I like that pretty good drive here another straight one Playing his second shot here at the par five. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Twenty-eight feet from the cup. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Continues to putt beautifully. It's a very makeable putt here. He is currently five under for his round. So makes the putt, and now at minus six. Frank, this is a great hole through the years to watch when the pressure is ratcheted up deep into a round. That is all you want at more than 220 yards. 
Place slightly shorter because it's downhill. The bunker's on the left in play. The, even the bunker short ride and, of course, the water, if you just miss it a bit, that's in play. And the green shapes away from you. This has to be the most difficult par three on the golf course. You can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Good swing, good shot yet again. Might want to check the GPS on a putt this long. Well, that's not the way you wanted to start out the backside here. Yeah, you can't afford from uh, inside 10 feet. It just, you feel like you have to make those. And um, I mean, they really sting when they miss. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Good confidence stroke. That's what you like to see. Putting for par stays at six under. Frank, how'd you like to be a rookie? You're going up against, at the time, the greatest player in the game, the great white shark, Greg Norman. And you hole a seven iron to win a tournament? Well, all you had to do was look at the uh, expression on Norman's face as that ball landed and went in. What did he hit there? Seven iron. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. That's how you play the game, right there. Stick it in close and then knock in the birdie. Second shot, good look at the green. This looks like it's going to find the target. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. So with that make, now it's seven under par. Not a gimme, but well within his range.
continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. There you have it, Frank. The first round is a wrap. We saw some good golf out there. It was certainly a fun round to watch. There's a lot of great players in this field. And this is...